Yo, yo. When I spit bars in a rave, man, I go hard like Santan. Get into it. Let's go around and do these awards real nice and quick. I'm hoping to not hear the same names from some of you this week. Um, I'll start with you this time, Babs. I know you like when I start with you. Um, first one, this yeah. is what it looks like award. Yes, I've got Rafael Leal. Yeah, Rafael talk Leal. to us. I, d- I didn't watch the full Portugal game, but I, I saw the moments. I, I was impressed. <laughs> and that's what I saw. You know, he's a top quality <laughs> player. And I think, I think, I think he gets a lot of hate. So, you know, What's I, your I, issue, I, I wanted to, And I knew John was going to be on as I'm, well. I'm so cook. That, 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 was, that was a bit of the reason as to why I, I gave him that. But no, I think he's a top quality player. And I, I liked what I saw yesterday. Cool. Um, German. This for me... Rafa Leal is exactly what it doesn't look like. <laughs> Having all this talent in the world... That's crazy. ...and wasting it. Mm. For me, he should be... He should, he should be, be revered as like one of the top five players in the world. That's the talent he's got. Mm. But this is why I always say... When, I, when people are talking about who are the best players, I'm not going off talent. I'm going mm. who plays the best. Mm. Yeah. Because football is about putting up performance. Well, you actually do. Consistent application, deciding games, being the key man. So I these, think he does that. I think he doesn't do it to me to a level that warrants his talent or to a level that I think the other attackers do it. So I think he's very, I think he's insanely talented, but it's literally exactly what it's not looked like for me because mm. he doesn't apply himself. Fair. Um, what's your this is what it looks like? You used that segment to yes. talk to another <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> what's yours? I'm flipping it saying we're going from someone who's insanely talented to someone who I think has been blessed not with as many talents, but the application in the last give it 12 months I'll say 12 <laughs> yeah <laughs> in the last what 12 a months yeah, and <laughs> quite and to exactly hear. Name is coming. the last 12 months has been nothing short of outstanding Kai Havertz I knew this uh, one. Cut, cut the cameras man they've been trying to silence <laughs> me <laughs> and, and I told you I, I told you in May <laughs> this, you, you called for email I said I'm going to come back on this pod and talk about Kavitz because they're trying to silence me and they're trying to stare at me. They're trying to silence me. It's insane. I'm not, I'm not going to go down. <laughs> and, 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 and I've got my point here, actually. So. Okay. What it looks like. Kai Havertz. So, first of all, my first point is, I believe there's been a lot of stubborn and disingenuous analysis around his performances. It's a press and brief. Just genuinely it's a press brief. 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 This is from him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> me and Chat GBT. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Me and That's crazy. crazy. One thing I want to establish there, I think it's quite clear that people didn't have the vision or belief that he would ever be believe this. I can't after. believe he's reading that. No, 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 I've got my points. Yeah, I've got my points here, right? Yeah, he's crazy. He's that would ever points. be a key player for Arsenal. And if he was a key player, Arsenal would not be able to compete. That has been disproven already because we're competing right now and yeah. he's a key player and he was a key player for the last seven, eight months um, in that stretch. Yeah. And when we played 17 games... And that's in a stretch of 17 games, we won 16 games. Is that seven, eight months? 17 games and a summer? Whew. Listen, you guys can't. <laughs> you are stretching <laughs> the truth here, brother. You guys, I'm, not, I'm, 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 I'm looking know, from brother. Jan to the end of the season. Okay. And then after that as well. So, okay. But he was in that 16 games, 17 game stretch, was 17 games, where we won 16 and drew one. He was a key performer. Mm-hmm. And he clearly shown that he can be a key player for a team competing at the mm-hmm. top end of the, t- um, of the league. So then the other part is. Um, people were saying he would destroy the team dynamics. So if the argument was he destroyed Arsenal's team dynamics. There is no fluidity to Arsenal's attack if he plays. That has also been disproven. We have scored more goals with him as a centre forward in the last um, six months or the end of the season than we did when we had Gabriel Jesus as our centre forward. Even in that spell where people loved him. Mm. That's the that's the truth. So then the next thing is there has been a huge. Im- so people say he's been the same player. I, I, I vehemently disagree with that. There has been a huge improvement in his application, consistency, which I said, what makes a player good and, mm-hmm. and better, in my opinion, and also his finishing ability. This, you look at the big chance creation stuff, you look at the XG stuff as well, there has been a huge uptake in, in terms of being in the higher 20s, like 28% big chance conversion, to going to 45%. That's crazy. That's, that's, that's ridiculous. Yeah. That's not the same player. That's a player with better application mm-hmm. and better consistency across the board. So then... Football for me, as I said, it's not just talent, it's consistent mm-hmm. application. Mm-hmm. Then the last two things I want to say is, on duels, Tobias has been trying to say, there's been a stat going around, oh, Harris has lost the most duels. Mm-hmm. This is why you have to look deeper into the stats. Who competes for as many duels as Havertz does? I've compared it to the action, I've compared it to ha- um, Haaland, I've compared it to Watkins. Havertz contests for way, way more duels Can you quantify? than these guys. Yes. 
and and he wins a higher clip as well but he obviously loses also at a higher clip because he can contest for but can you quant- so i mean that quant- so how much more duels is he I got in the oh, right thank here. you so in comparison to harland Harland has contested for 92 duels harland has contested for 40 so over double mm-hmm. what harland has contested to in the air he contested for 50 duels and harland has contested for 15. Wow. so it's a huge amount of work that he gets through so then when you look at the dual success in the air highland is better 53 percent is pretty good for habits is 40 percent which is not as good um ground dues contested habits um is more than um highland which is 25 for highland 43 for habits habits um, percentage is 38 highland's percentage is 32. Mm-hmm. so the amount of work he gets through is crucial for the way the team can play so when people say, "Oh yeah, he's lost the most juice," because he conti- contests for also the Harlan duel and the Harris duel ain't the same. Usually, if the aerial balls come to Harlan, he's literally coming right towards him. Whereas a lot of stuff Habits does, I've seen Habits run to he's, he's the fighting, air He's to fighting fight for balls, balls yeah. that are basically yeah. lost yeah, already, same. which is why he's got a high amount of duel level mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. as well. So I'd like to hear his versus Watkins, who we've kind of acknowledged as a grafter. Um, he might on have one of the have Watkins in the air, but on the ground. I don't. Know, I don't I'm just one of the for Watkins, but I've got a, w- one that's really interesting because mm-hmm. because I think. He's clearly a better player, but Isaac, for example. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm not sure he, Isaac would be would be a centre forward. He's not good playing, playing for Arsenal. I think he might be someone that play on the left for us mm-hmm. because he doesn't get through a lot of work. Yeah, he's not he, good. He duels. contests for about 34 duels um so far, 92 compared to Havertz. Um, Airy duels contested 12 compared to 49 for Havertz, and then his percentages are all lo- lower than Havertz, like 25 aerial yeah. and 31 ground duels. So when people talk about this duel stuff, you need to take that into consideration and then the last thing i want to go on is about this this narrative that has been going i think where people say okay we stumbled across this center forward thing it wasn't really in the plan um he's a felt midfielder um we, he was signed as a midfielder Ateta actually said and these are the quotes um that he doesn't that he doesn't think he's either a midfielder or a forward it's about impact and where he think he can create the most impact and create the most um, synergy with teammates. He's never said he's either this or that, and he's used them in both scenarios. Even when Havertz has been doing well centre forward, he's then start playing in midfield at times. Also, I don't but think it matters Jesus. if you bought him to play yeah. mid if and he he's playing well, yeah, well. On, on If he's banging up front, he's banging up front. He's banging up front. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's a slight that people. Are yeah, using. But, yeah, but yeah, that's my point. Well, you're trying to, he's, trying to, he's, trying to, he's trying to silence all corners. No, yeah, no, no, but no. <laughs> I don't think he should have to silence that corner. They're just being dumb. You just sometimes, mm. bro, man's banging up front. He's banging up. Don't tell me man what banging in midfield. Okay, what's it got to do with him banging up front? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. Yeah. But that's, that's, mm. that's, that, that's my argument put. And if I have to come back in three months and do it again, no, I no, will. No, I think we it's fine. Enough. We're going we're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> to clip that up. I'm going to have it evergreen. Mm. Every time Havertz does anything good, we'll just post it on the uh, account. He, he, he. <laughs> He does deserve it because yeah. man, we're talking, man, we're talking crazy, and basically, and most of them have conceded, but they're not being honest about the conceding. They're trying to, yeah, not tap pride, about pride. It. Mm. pride. My pride is all I have, uh, Dr. Mike. What it looks like, mm. I want to give flowers to, to Saka. I think his start to the season mm. has been has been electric. I think mm. he's electric, yeah. I think he's he's fired up. Like, even for example, the goal, there's a game he played, um. I was hate watching it. What was the game? I think it was Leicester. Mm-hmm. And he didn't get a goal or assist in the game, but his performance level in the game. Look, did he, he get an assist? He assist, an assist? Well, what was the game? So there was a game that Arsenal won. He didn't what? get a goal or assist. I, I, think, like... I think it was the Leicester game where he, he didn't get the assist in the end. Oh, yeah, okay, Leicester. Okay. It was Leicester. Yeah, it was Leicester. Because I hate I watching. I, I, I remember I my hate like watches. 12, um, I was at like eight chances created or something like but that. But like the, yeah. the general performance was one where he tormented his fullback. Mm-hmm. Like they were doubling up on him. He was still finding a way. Like it was just like pure dominance and I think he's in a mindset now and he even said in an interview himself where he wants to win big and he's playing like a player unfortunately for me and my agenda uh, against Arsenal Football Club but he's playing like a player that wants to win big like mm. he's, he's dragging them like people thought maybe in this kind of period you know without Erdegaard maybe Arsenal will struggle a bit to break down low blocks but it's early. it is still early and, and Erdegaard's out for, for still I think a, a month or so in November he's not going to be back maybe back in November who knows but so far, the player that's been, you know, dominant and, and trying to find solutions for Arsenal has been has been Saka. Mm. He's been the one they're looking for. I mean, in general, he's the player they look for anyway, but he's he's just become even more important in the spell, and I think he's risen to the challenge. So I have to give credit when it's due. I think he, he's been incredible. 
Fair enough, nice one. So I'm going to come to you, Disu, and I'm going to also inject some urgency into these awards. I'm loving the preamble. I'm loving the discussion. This monologue has um, <laughs> from, 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 this, fault, yeah, from this award onwards, as in Disu saying it, we've got four more awards to go through, including the underrated one. So let's keep it snappy. Disu, who's your, this is what it looks um, like. I saw a comp of his first season in Spain, uh, Ronaldinho comp. That is what it looks like. <laughs> Yeah, that's my award. Nobody paid for this week. It moved me, so it's for Ronaldinho. Fair enough. Uh, I'll stay with you. Uh, good dude, cooked food. Good dude, cooked food. Phil Foden. <laughs> I don't. Nothing needs to be said. Just my tapes. <laughs> Doctor Mike, good dude, cooked food. I'm, I'm going to give it to Rashford. Again, you didn't even play this. Week. I, don't, I don't care. <laughs> 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 I, don't care. I, I literally do not care. Fair enough, Russ. <laughs> German. I'm sorry, man. Um, I'm a lover of the beautiful game, but it's Neymar, man. Mm. He's, I think... Yeah, they had... They had, they had, they had, they had <laughs> you know what, do you know what I loved? I know you saw my tweet. I know you saw my... Oh, tweet. <laughs> The fifth person from like the network retweeted, I was like, yeah, he's definitely seen this. Right, like, <laughs> cool. With his d- sleeveless denim. <laughs> 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 yeah, I hear you. Yeah. And Babs, good dude, cook food. Do you know what, yeah? I was thinking to do Rashford as well, but I just think that'd be, it wouldn't it would be as creative. Yeah, I so, agree. <laughs> hey, move on, man. Get this bum out. Of here, right? Your babs, come on, man. But yeah, I, 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 have to, I have to go with Neymar, man. It feels, it feels like the I'm, I'm putting the gun on my, on my guy, but yeah, it's, it's been another season. You know, where he hasn't played last we're, season. We're releasing this swans. season. Then he's gonna play. Releasing again, so. swans. Is he, is he, what, what, is, he, is he back in training? <laughs> of course, she, I wasn't no, 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 because they say he's not going to play. So I thought he got the information. I didn't have. I'm seeing him. I'm seeing him as I see him playing. So you know, he's back awesome. in training. Where though? Where is he? <laughs> 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 hey, <he's bummed. laughs> I thought, I thought maybe we got into the game. No, 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 no. It's just, it's, 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 his location, I yeah. think, is, is more so what people are pointing at. Yeah. Um, perfect segue. Saudi bound. This um, is Salah. Huh? Salah. <laughs> what? <laughs> A German Saudi bound. I think I have Rashford on this, but. <laughs> You are lazy. This is a lazy no, because, award I week. The awards, I, but I rush for <laughs> because I've, you know, we've seen players in their prime go to Saudi, right? Yeah. Like and go there for a year or two. Mm-hmm. So that be also a good double day, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. but he's not Saudi bound. I think such Rashford is more Saudi bound. I think he could dip there for a year. That might be the out for him. Getting no, out of United no. for a good transfer fee, getting some dough, and then coming back. Mm-hmm. No, no. I, I'm going to put this on wax. You will regret this. Huh? Don't be mystical, no, man. I'm not mystical. You regret this. These takes will not age well. That's what I mean. Let me be super clear. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Sadiba. Gabby Jesus. Yeah, fucking hell, man. Yeah. He's cooked. I forgot about him. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Uh, Babs, Sadiba. Every week, he's just as cooked as Rashford. I've, I've got Kyle Walker. I think he, he, he needs to go there. Because he got blown out by Adama Traore. <laughs> oh, wow. yo. Fucking God. <laughs> Mario, <laughs> what? What's going on here, man? Yeah, he got out sprinted by Adama Traore. What's I like how you rephrased that's it. That's completely yeah. knows what you said, but I, I've got Kyle Walker there. I think his behaviour has been disgusting. I think he needs what? to be What the hell? Just, just, just in general, man. Oh, fair. I, think, I, think, I think he needs to be, he needs to be flogged. Yeah, so. expedited. S- send him to, to Saudi. Cool. All right. Uh, Dr. Mike, under surveillance. Van der Ven. Yeah, I hear you. They put him in conversations he does not belong in at yeah, all. Rooms that he shouldn't be in. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Mm. Babs. What a very serious one. Tapping Tobes. That behavior, that airport, that <laughs> we need to put him under surveillance. <laughs> I will blame him. It means too much. In international actually, airspace. Actually, actually should be we, awesome. we don't have to do it. He's on the Interpol list. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can blow the roof with this airport right Bro. <laughs> <laughs> and he was so serious. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. It yeah. can't mean that me? much, surely. <laughs> like, why, why does it mean that much? Mm. <laughs> it gets like that. Yeah, he's on me. He's on some under surveillance. Too much. Yeah. <laughs> this you under surveillance. <laughs> under surveillance. Napcam. Canate. Jeremy, that's under man. surveillance. Destiny or Doggy. You don't <laughs> were fighting me last season, you know? <laughs> Fight me. Best left back in the league, X, Y, and Who was saying that? Hey, a, a couple black brothers. <laughs> 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 we need some names. We need some names. This first lot, you know, there's 
in the vibe chat, loads of people saying team of the year. Mm. They will put the city doggy in that. Yeah, I don't see it. Like for me, he's a very talented player, mm. but you can't be usurping someone to the status mm. and then be surprised when man are saying, "Oh, is this not the guy?" For me, he's on that list. He's on nap cam. He's talented, mm. but you guys don't did too much too early. Fair enough. I've got one for under surveillance. Uh, Scott McTominay's Roly. Those Napoli fans are <laughs> moving absolutely. <laughs> insane they have put up a triple double this week they're robbing <laughs> players left right and center and they like they even rob club legend Marek Hamsik so if Hamsik can get robbed McTominay that that role you were wearing when you signed you gotta keep that tuck my guy uh so the final award is obviously the underrated I know I have talent award I think we're all on the underrated platform but I wanted to take a second just to mention which I found out the other day they've tripled the amount of times in a week that you get the 500 coins so if you were like me and you didn't know, I didn't know that. you're missing out on an op- I've seen guys with like 4,000 coins on their, their main piece of stock so three well, times yeah, the refresh is three times a week no? that's what I just said it's always been like that though no it used to just be one yeah yeah, yeah. I've always had it for free uh, different errors uh, anyway <laughs> so it's three, it's, three, it's three times a week on the underrated app but I also wanted to mention this Saturday so the 19th the UK Black Business Show underrated has a stand there Touchline also has a stand there so if you're around the XL London come down learn a bit more about the app uh, tickets are available I'll attach a link to the pod tweet um, but Babs who's your underrated player of the week Elise Spencer Gear. sorry Elise Spencer Gear. I think that that for me is my is my, <laughs> my, my, he's my underrated. What's going on here, man? Yeah, What's I don't even. Cool? Like, who is that? He's a young, he's a young winger um, from Monaco. Uh, yeah, fair previously enough. represented them. Um, I see. He, he used the same chat GPT thing that. <laughs> no, give no. me a bespoke, bespoke no, 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 French no, no, African. No, 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 no. This is this is this is it for me because for me, right? Of recent, of the French like, North African descent is doing one. Wait. <laughs> 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 for me with the French league I used to be a big fan of it but I feel like of recent you know, a lot of the talent has been extracted from that league I know, I have he's the one player that's really you know keeping keeping in touch and me and Dan at the moment we've got like a little investor battle oh, on, 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 on the app because okay. last season I was the lead investor okay but I've been I've been here okay, you've been out here. <laughs> but then this season I don't, I don't know if you guys even knew but on the raid if you buy a stock and somebody fo- and you, somebody follows you they, they, they're actually notified yeah that's I, the whole I, point of following I, somebody because I didn't know that so yeah. like I was here buying stuff. So I'm thinking, why, why is everybody buying all the players? No, that's, a, that's the whole point of the following. They get to a peak. And that's why you get a couple of options to be able to hide stuff. Because the thing about that app is, regardless of who the player is, somebody has got like a thousand coins on them. <laughs> so you yeah. can't even like sneak in and, mm. oh, who just, nope. Somebody's already right. been invested in them for weeks and weeks. So, and, and that's how Dan got me on Ben's so against. Yeah, 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 he's my underrated. And the only reason, the only reason I have him there, especially is because the Olympics, he basically stank it out. Mm. And like this season, he's like actually pulled me from Monaco. So, fair enough. I thought you said Olympic. No. Anyway, um, Dr. Mike, who's your underrated player of the week? I've got two. I've got Belieber. I think he's a really talented midfielder. I've got stocks in him on underrated. I'm currently second in the stocks for him. So, I'm going <laughs> to. Toss with another guy. Why can he say believer, but I can't say Ben Sagir? That's a guy that plays in the Premier League. Yeah, we know who he is. Watch him every yeah. week. Yeah. Oh, oh man, the second one. He's had a good performance every week. Yeah, he's like against Spurs, Spurs yeah. and it all lies on me slot. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I, I, I like to toss with Mike, but it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, like, like, Go on, I think it's him, and I also think. Kanati, I'm going to mention just because... Oh, my days. Stop. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, that, that <laughs> that 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 that's, that's what I want. Look, that's what I want. Look, he's plugging... He only put his guy below Elite, but it also put it in underrated. Like, <laughs> How much? What would you want? No, I'm yeah. plugging Kanati heavy. Fred, my boy. Four. Clearly. Clean the hell. That's a stick. You guys are sick. You guys are sick, honestly. You said a really sick one. You guys are sick. All right. Cartier Dissu, who's your underrated player of the week? Uh, touchy Gooders. Couple good youths, Dave. I don't do that to you. <laughs> 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 no, 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 prospects. <laughs> So I want them in Saudi. Um, <laughs> this weekend, I, I set up like a touchline community on WhatsApp. Oh my God. And about four of them entered the Mugga chat. We ain't checking oh. for you. None <laughs> of us came into the touchy. Don't worry about what we got going on over here, yeah? You ain't gonna see no pain either. Who joined, who joined the Khalil? Okay. Olo and Shabs. All removed immediately, but you, you stay on your side. It weren't me. I know it weren't you, but you. I was you very the... close to joining the TG chat <laughs> and running some crazy stuff in there. Yeah, so <laughs> TG. I want to be part of TG chat, but I don't want to be there to say anything. I just want to watch. Yeah. No, certain games, I know they're losing it. Yeah. I know they're losing it. I know. Name names. Everybody that's not named, you 
and Todd and Leo. I know everybody else <laughs> yeah. is losing their Coogs, marbles. Coogs, like, like, passion what, 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 and I want to see the roller coaster ride just to like, yeah. I can't like, I can't, like it, that chair's crazy. It, it, yeah. In most chats, you can, even without being it, get an understanding of like, who keeps shitting, like, in Touchy Gooners, it's kind of like a bit of a, who's like, who keeps you guys running like the Navy? No, every corner's got its own agenda mm. and at some point two touchy gooners are fighting each other in the chat but we'll come on twitter and be united though <laughs> in the chat we're tussling yeah. but on twitter we're a united front th- th- this is how you're supposed to run it no, i guess <laughs> this is what genie used to do <laughs> 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 fucking forever that young buck owed him so much money so. <laughs> and uh finally uh german who's your underrated player of the week um, I've just put Duran there. That's the um, and it's because it's the underrated award as well. I'm the lead investor on that stock. Okay. Um, and I think, yeah, <laughs> well, I got there early. Yeah. Um, I saw a couple games last season. I was like, well, Jesus Christ, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. yeah he's cold. And that yeah, I just invested, crazy, and he's he's gone supernova this this season so far, and he's got a new contract now, which I think he shouldn't have signed, but yeah. Well, I feel like we always say that, but like if somebody tripled your salary. Mm. What's I think you never know if he's got release calls in, in, in the <laughs> release calls in the Prem are funny, man. So we'll we'll see. And um, I did what, ask. What, for what's 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 your one? I didn't think of one. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think about that yeah. at all. So you My underrated of the world, Babs. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give it to you, Babs. <laughs> this is, it was a good pod for you this week. You didn't sit on the fence. Um, I know that's a controversial oh, topic. So yeah, Babs, you're my underrated as player of the week. Yeah, I knew there was gonna be something. Yeah, yeah. lovely. Uh, yo, yo. When I spit bars in a rave, man I go hard like Santana